Magic happens when crops get just the right balance of light and shade. But in a hot climate, how do you do that? At noon on a summer day, there is just too much light. But overdo the shade protection and it can cost you valuable productivity and produce quality. Svensson ran a tomato growing trial using two unheated poly-roofed greenhouses in Mexico. One greenhouse had fixed shading painted on, while the other was equipped with retractable Svensson diffusion screens. The results are striking, with the grower achieving increased harvesting weeks and a dramatically improved yield. The team had stumbled upon an unexpected success factor. Timing. At sunrise, plants don't want to be cold and damp under fixed shading, and they don't thrive under fixed shade at dusk. Plants with too little light are smaller, they produce less, and there just isn't enough energy to transport the nutrients needed for new shoots or attractive fruit. It's no way to start the day, or round off the day at dusk. But delay applying fixed shade to give plants more light at dawn and dusk, and you risk exposing them to too much light when the sun is high. This harms root development, slows photosynthesis, and can cause burning and flower abortion. And the plant wastes precious water on cooling itself instead of using it to grow. In the trial greenhouse equipped with retractable Svensson diffusion screens, they could be opened at dawn to warm the greenhouse more quickly, kickstarting the growing day. And by opening them at dusk, the growing day could be extended. There was no risk of burning at noon because the closed diffusion screens created an optimal growing light whenever they were in use. This greenhouse outperformed strongly. It saw a 20% increase in yield, six additional harvesting weeks, and the staff preferred working in the screened greenhouse. There is an exciting journey ahead for growers who choose to invest in achieving the best possible light balance. Download our free guide to start your journey. Svensson, a better climate for people and plants.